हेलो दिस इज अजिंक्य वक्सवरे असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फिजिक्स डॉक्टर बाबा साहेब आंबेडकर टेक्नोलॉजिकल यूनिवर्सिटी लोनेरे दिस इज द सेकंड वीडियो रिगार्डिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन ऑप्टिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द मोशन ऑफ एन इलेक्ट्रॉन इन पैरेलल इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड कंसीडर टू मेटल प्लेट्स ए एंड बी मेटल प्लेट ए इज पॉजिटिवली चार्ज्ड मेटल प्लेट बी इज नेगेटिवली चार्ज्ड बाय यूजिंग द बैटरी the separation between the plates is small d and the electric field developed between the plates is capital e consider an electron at the plate b the initial velocity of this electron is zero let v is the potential difference between the plates small d is the distance between the plates the charge of an electron is represented as small e now whenever a charge is kept in an external electric field the electric field exerts a force on that charge similarly in this case the electric field e will exert a force on the electron and that force is given as f is equals to small e into capital e e into e now by using the newton second law we can write force as mass into acceleration that is ma now we can calculate the acceleration as a is equals to e e by m but we know that capital e that is electric field is equals to potential difference v divided by distance d so put the value of e in above equation this becomes a is equals to e v upon m d this capital v is used for potential difference okay now let us calculate the distance traveled by an electron in time t velocity achieved by an electron in time t transit time and impact velocity we are going to talk about these particular parameters now if i release this electron then this electron will accelerate towards the positive plate due to the force exerted by electric field like this so electron will follow a straight line path in parallel electric field now let us consider the velocity of electron at any instant t so how to calculate the velocity of electron for this we are going to use the kinematical equations v is equals to u plus at here v is written in bold letter this v is the velocity do not get confused between the potential difference and the velocity so v is equals to u plus at u is the initial velocity and initial velocity of an electron is zero so this equation becomes v is equals to at is equals to ev upon md into t this is equation number 1 put the value of a in this equation so actually it becomes ev upon md into t now let us calculate the distance traveled by the electron in time t so for this again use the second kinematical equation that is x is equals to ut plus 1 half at square initial velocity is zero so equation becomes x is equals to 1 half at square the value of u is zero keep this in mind put the value of acceleration so it give it gives me x is equals to 1 by 2 ev upon md into t square this is equation number second now let us calculate the time of transit from negative plate to the positive plate now what is the meaning of time of transit the time taken by an electron to move from negative plate to the positive plate is called as time of transit so what will be the distance traveled by an electron in the transit time so it is nothing but the separation between the plates so first calculate the value of time t by using the second equation let us do some mathematical arrangement and uh, calculate the value of t so value of t becomes under root 2 mxv 
upon e into v. This v is the potential difference. This is not the velocity. Keep this in mind. So, our first equation is this t is equal to under root 2 m x t upon e into v. Now, the value of x is going to be a d. Why? Because in the case of transit time, the distance travelled by an electron will be similar to the separation between the plates. So, x is equal to d. So, if I put x is equal to d, it gives me under root 2 m d square upon e v. This is the transit time under root 2 m d square upon e v. Now, let us calculate the impact velocity of an electron. What is impact velocity? Impact velocity is that velocity of electron when it is just reached to the positive plate. That is called as impact velocity. So, impact velocity can be calculated by putting the value of transit time in equation 1. Because in equation 1, we have already got the velocity of an electron at time t. So, the impact velocity can be calculated by putting the value of transit time in equation 1. So, our equation 1 becomes vi, uh, vi stands for impact velocity is equal to ev upon md as it is and instead of t, we have put under root 2 md square upon ev. Let us make some arrangement, mathematical arrangement. So, it gives as uh, so vi is equal to under root 2 m d square upon e v as it is and uh, we have written e v upon m d in square root. So, square root of e square upon v square upon m square d square. After some mathematical calculations, we get vi is equal to under root 2 e v upon m where capital V is the potential difference. I repeat capital V is the potential different. This is the expression for impact velocity. Okay. Thank you.